Welcome everybody to a brand new video game playthrough. Game Boy Donkey Kong! Who's those mysterious eyes? It's Donkey Kong! Well, Donkey Kong doesn't quite look as, as the same as he does today. Well, that's because it's before Rare got their hands on him. Anyway, I'm kind of laughing a little bit because I'm sure almost none of you saw this coming. And I know a lot of my viewers out there will probably not even know what this game is. I mean, granted, you all know what Donkey Kong is and probably are aware of the arcade game, but I'm sure that most of my viewers are not aware that this is a Game Boy remake. Wow. Uh, anyway, the game itself is pretty straightforward. Well, you maneuver Mario. He's not called Jumpman anymore because, well, this isn't 1981. Um... But yes, Mario has actually, he has some new tricks in this game, which really makes it a fun game. Uh, God, without, I mean, we're still in like the first minute, practically, and I'm already blurting out everything that I intended to say about this game. But I really like this game. Yes. I, I, is there something that, that I should totally be saying? Oh, yes. Well, let's go ahead and start over. Hello again, everybody. This is Anthony, a.k.a. Playing With My Wii, and this is a brand new video game playthrough, Game Boy Donkey Kong. Well, anyway, the reason why it's called Game Boy Donkey Kong is, well, obviously, it's a remake on the Game Boy. Um, I do have information about this game, but, um, you know, pretty straightforward. I really like this game. Uh, I have this on the original Game Boy, even though I recorded this off of Visu Visual Boy Advance. The game is pretty straightforward, as you can see. All you have to do is climb to the top. Wow, it's just like it was in, uh, in the original arcade game. And this should be slightly familiar if you played Smash Bros. Brawl. 75M, as you know, 75M was remade on it as a stage in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yes, Donkey Kong even throws the same boingy spring things. Yes, but uh, yeah, they they actually they don't launch you off the side of the screen. They actually kill you. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you know, it, it's basically straightforward. Just like in the arcade game, you had four different levels of difficulty. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. But anyway, in this level, pretty simple. All you got to do is run over all six of these uh, platform things, I guess. And uh, you're basically just trying to disconnect. The, ah, my god, I uh, didn't want to get burned there. That wouldn't have been cool. Disconnect the uh, girders, I suppose you could say. And, uh, well, wow, that was pretty quick. What a short game. Well, I guess that's the end of this playthrough. I'll see you all... Uh-oh. Oh, my god, that's not good. Ow. <laughs> right on the head. Anyway. Uh, unlike the arcade game, it, it still keeps going. And this is the generic music that we're going to be keep on that we're going to keep on hearing every time we see one of these chase cutscenes. Ow! Yes, Donkey Kong seems to have ran away from the original arcade stages, and he just decided, "Hey, I'll just do something else." Anyway, uh, as indicated by this cutscene, from now on, you're not just getting to the top of the screen. It might not might not be that that's what you're doing. What you actually have to be doing in every stage is grabbing a key and bringing it to a door. Yes. Anyway, Donkey Kong seems to have ran into a big city. In this big, si <laughs> big city, there's uh, eight different stages to go through. Every four stages, you will fight Donkey Kong. Crazy talk. Crazy, I say. Um, yes, as you can see, I just broke out another one of Mario's new moves. Um, I suppose you could call that like a beta triple jump because Mario jumps into a handstand And then if you jump right into the right as right as he lands on the handstand He'll jump again for an awesome double jump And then if you jump again right when he hits the ground, you'll get an awesomely super high triple jump. Yes, awesome And all three of those items that you collect throughout the level if you get all three of them Then you get a little bonus thing at the end where you can get extra lives you know, getting extra lives is not terribly important because getting extra lives in this game is so easy. Yes, I will show you that, uh, well. Well, you did see that. Every time you complete all four, well, four, set of four stages, uh, and that cutscene ensues, you get a one-up for every 100 points that you get, and then another one-up for any surplus points you have over said 100 points. Yeah. So, the point, the lot. <laughs> 
The one-ups rack up pretty gosh darn quickly. So, uh, yeah, getting lives is really not a... Not... You don't need to worry about it. I really like the music in this stage. Uh, every time I hear the music for this stage, I always think of, like, mice running around. And, well, I guess that's obvious, because look at the little mice running around. Ooh, they're so cute. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, yes, and uh, as a homage to Super Mario Bros. 2, at least I think that's what they were doing, uh, you can actually pick up some enemies and throw them. Uh, well, either just throw them or throw them into other enemies, which will knock them out. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, they, like they never came up with that before. Anyway. So, yeah. Oh, God, this one is fun. Oh, and also, this music should also be very familiar if you've played any Smash Bros. game. It's the Hammer Time music. Stop. Hammer Time. Yeah, that. Ah, uh, you know, the, well, the basically, this game is, is sort of like a puzzle game. It really tests your um, ingenuity skills, and that trash can's alive. And I don't seem to be able to pick them up. <laughs> it's funny to me because the, uh, oh, that was sneaky. Because the um, the animation for picking stuff up, it almost looks exactly like it does in Super Mario Bros. 2. And, oh, God, ow. Ow, oh, that was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's what it looks like when you die. Anyway, magic of video editing time, because, well, you know, I have to cut time off. That's just who I am. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get that last item. I'm going to assume that's a purse. Ow. That, that was really good. <laughs> that was good. Yes, another one of Mario's tricks is that he can, you know, start spinning really fast. And the faster he spins when you let go, or when you, pre yeah, when you press the jump button, um, the faster he's been spinning, the higher you'll actually go. Or, in my case, the harder. You'll just slam onto the ground. Uh, and, um, so yeah. Oh, unlike in Donkey Kong, the original version, when you fall off stuff, you don't immediately die. Uh, it depends on how far you actually fall. If you fall from a really high up place, then you'll die. But if you just, like, kind of, you know, fall from, like, this platform, like, above Mario's head onto the ground, uh, then you won't die. So, yes, this is one of the, um... Very clever Donkey Kong battles. Whoa. Uh, this is one where he just sort of stomps the ground and stuff falls inexplicably from the sky. Those look like tires, and I'm going to assume those are like... Um... Uh, I don't know. Like saucers, I guess? <laughs> or maybe like, to like uh, top hats or something? I don't know. So yes, uh, anything... Er, anyway. Uh, what you want to do for uh, all of the Donkey Kong battles... It depends on which kind of Donkey Kong battle you're doing, but in that case, you have to just get to the top where, uh, I believe that's Pauline. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it'll be in the information. And, uh, yeah, you just want to get to where she is. And these cutscenes usually indicate what you're supposed to do in the next set of, set of worlds. Uh, like they'll either explain a new thing that you can do, or new traps, or what have you. Yes. Look at that, just like that. Five five more lives. And I didn't even lose... Well, I... Yeah, I did lose one. Gosh darn. Actually, I lost two. I didn't cut the other loss out because that was just embarrassing. <laughs> I just walked right into the hole. Yeah. Now, these get fun with the, uh, the little platform things that you have to make. It's almost like you're constructing stuff. And, uh, similarly to Super Mario World, um, like when you hit a P-switch, uh, a s like the little music thing will start... And when the music runs out, well, any effects from the uh, platform things, well, they disappear. I like that music. Uh, anyway, well, I guess since we still have a little bit more time, uh, a little bit of information on the game. Donkey Kong is a platform game developed in 1994 by Nintendo for the Game Boy handheld video game system, which also contains puzzle elements. Donkey Kong is loosely based on the 1981 arcade game of the same name and its sequel, Donkey Kong Jr., the game is also known as Game Boy Donkey Kong, as seen in the title screen, and also Donkey Kong 94, their promotional title before release, to differentiate it from the 1981 arcade game. Like in the original arcade and NES versions, the player takes control of Mario and must rescue Pauline, okay, it is Pauline, from Donkey Kong, who are both given updated character designs for this game. Donkey Kong Jr. also makes a guest appearance in the game on some levels, helping his father hinder Mario's progress. Yes. Mario's no longer a carpenter either. He was a, you know, a little bit of loose, <laughs> useless trivia. Mario's original character, Jumpman, was supposed to be a carpenter, not a plumber. 
Uh, I think that was in actually in Mario Bros. The original. Like if you have Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, that Mario Bros. game. So yeah, I really like this like roulette thing. Ah, I almost got three one-ups. Shucks, gee gosh and golly. Anyway, that's it for this part of the playthrough. Join me in part two. Uh, we're, I guess I'm trying to get my priorities straight. But yeah, there's a lot to go through. Well, at least in the beginning. A lot to explain. But I'll get to that in the next part. See you then.